Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, thank you very much for being an electrical. I really appreciate that. Now, previously, we did a video, and that video, uh, I showed you how you can uh, uh, change the direction of the motor in the terminal box. And the reason you can do that is because uh, you're not using a forward and reverse starter, but you, need, you, but, but you need to change a motor direction. So you can always do it in the terminal box by changing uh, one of the phases, w between two phases, okay? So if you didn't watch that video, I'll put the link in the description. Now today I want to show you how you can run this motor and how you can change it uh, in, uh, uh, how you can run it in both Delta or Star, okay? So uh, most of the motors like this motor, the way you're seeing it right here, it's connected in Star, okay? So all the six leads are out and you have a choice of either running it in Star or in Delta. Most cases, we normally uh, run it using a, a star delta starter, okay? Because a star delta starter, uh, you won't need to come and open the terminal box. You will just press the buttons and then it will start in star and then in delta. But in these instances where you're using a direct online or other forms of starters other than in star delta starter, so you have to come at the terminal box and you choose which way you want to run this motor. So, first, we have to run this motor in the star and the star it means that you have to short the tools. Now, if you look here in this motor, as I will show you on the screen, uh, you have six leads out. And you have the ones and the twos. So you have U1, V1, W1, and you have W2, uh, U2, and V2. So when you're connecting in star, it's very easy because you have your incoming power, that's the three phase, you connect it to U1, V1, and W1 respectively. And then the tools, W2, v, U2, V2, you shot them, okay? So now you can run your motor in star exactly as we are just going to do. And when you're running it in Delta, uh, things has to change a little bit, okay? So what you're going to do, you'll have to, you know, to follow the triangle, okay? So whereby you'll have your U1 uh, connected to W2, okay? Then you have your V1 connected to U2. Then you have your W1 connected to V2. Okay, as the tri as you see the triangle on the screen. Okay, all right. Now let's go ahead and run this motor in star, and then we'll run it in delta. Okay. So, like I said, the default uh, connection you must follow is how your your lines are going. It might be red, yellow, blue, or brown. Uh, you know. So if you do that, your motor will run in forward direction. If you, if you need it in reverse direction, then you, you change two phases. I told you about that, okay? And guys, you must make sure that you're very much protected because three phase reel is really dangerous. You must make sure that your, your supply is really off, okay? Okay, now as you see, this motor is connected in star. So we can run it, and then later we can run it in Delta, okay? And here we are not using any form of starter, we are just directly switching it on and off. So you see this motor is now, is connected in star and it's running. Okay, so let us run it in Delta, okay? <clears throat> okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna use these plates here, we're gonna open them and then we, we link the leads. So you have these plates, there are three of them. So you just connect this one here, and then you change this one here. 
and you change that one there, then you have to make sure to ensure that they are very tight. And then now here, we have to connect our leads now, okay? Okay, now you put the last lead. You must ensure that he, all everything is tight, well tight, okay? All right, now, right there, our motor is connected in delta so you have your u1 w2 you have your v1 v2 you have your w1 and w2 okay so we can try to run it and then you see you see it has even increased the power so delta is very much energetic okay the power has increased so you're able to see the difference So, delta is really strong, the torque uh, increases. That's why you see that uh, we use the star delta starter. The high, uh, the big motors that you're carrying, high loads, you cannot start them with delta because delta, you know, uh, starts at a very high torque. And so you've seen that uh, when you run our motor in delta, uh, it starts at a, a very high speed and it draws more current, okay? So just in case you're, you're running a, a very loaded machine, okay? And you start it in delta, probably the motor will burn, okay? Because it is trying to go at a very high speed. That's why it is better to use a star delta starter such that you can start that machine in star fast, slowly. When it now attains, you know, its speed, then you can, uh, you know, change it to the delta. Okay? All right. Thank you very much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe, to like, and share. Thank you.